You're watching Alabama Broadcasters Station of the Year. Coverage you can count on. Week 31 News at 5 starts now. Week one in the trial for accused triple murderer Jimmy Spencer now over. A look at the testimony presented to the jury thus far. Children's hospitals overwhelmed how the surge in children's respiratory illnesses is impacting the health care system. And a break from the cold weather after tonight, that is. How warm you can expect the weekend to get, plus tonight's high school football forecast. Thank you so much for joining us for Way 31 News at 5. I'm Marie Waxel. Dan Schaefer has the evening off. We want to update you right away now to a crash near mile marker 22 on 565. This is near that merger with 72 where that crash happened. It was once all red. You can see it has now downgraded a little bit to just slow traffic in orange here. Police closed the eastbound lanes and traffic is backed up there, causing a major headache for drivers in the rush hour. We're told one person has been taken to the hospital. We are still waiting for a, a, an official from Huntsville PD to let us know once that road has been officially reopened. If you can avoid this area, please avoid it at all costs while crews work to clear that scene. All new at five testimony wrapped up for the week and accused triple murderer Jimmy Spencer's trial. Spencer was out of prison on parole despite a life sentence when he's accused of killing two women and a child. Senior reporter Matt Kroschel explains the evidence against Spencer's overwhelming. He confessed and Spencer's attorneys haven't shown any indication they're going to offer a defense. Rather, they by this jury. They're hoping for a life in prison without parole and not a sentence of death. Sources within law enforcement with direct knowledge of this case years in the making telling me Spencer had told prosecutors he would avoid this entire trial if they had agreed to his terms. Spencer said he would accept a deal a to keep him to live, work and raise a family. It is 5.06 on your Friday evening as you take a live look over beautiful Lake Gunnersville with our Thompson Roofing and Construction Sky Camera Network looking like it's going to be a perfect night for high school football. Just bring your jacket and be prepared to maybe hit up the concession stand for some hot chocolate tonight, Olga. Yeah, it's going to get a little chilly after that sun sets, but right now we are sitting pretty. We have lots of blue sky across our Wave 31 sky camera network, and overall these temperatures have been holding very nicely into the middle range and lower 70s across the board. We're looking at uh, Huntsville at 74, 70 out towards Scotts Row. Everybody else yeah, well in between, but in all a very nice finish to our Friday and our work week. As we head into the overnight, though, these numbers are really going to plummet. In fact, uh, the sunset is coming earlier and and earlier as time goes on and as we move on in toward the rest of the month, we're going to start to see the sun set around 6 o'clock for the 21st. But by the time we get to next week, sunset well before 5 o'clock. Rolling those clocks back on November definitely will make a difference. In a couple of weeks, the sun will be setting before 5 o'clock. I'll have a check of your weekend forecast coming up. New at 5 across the country right now, children's beds and ICUs are around 80% full. The surge caused by an increase in respiratory illnesses impacting children. Reporter Ivan Rodriguez has the very latest on how children's hospitals are being impacted. Ivan. Marie, hospitals across the country are seeing a dramatic rise in children suffering from RSV. In some children, RSV can lead to dehydration, trouble breathing, and more serious illnesses like pneumonia. Dwindling children's hospital beds. And open until 9 o'clock tonight. Reporting in Ardmore, Olivia Schuler, Way 31 News. A lot of money on the line there. Powerball's website says there is a 1 in 200 million chance, though, you're a winner. Good luck if you're playing. War in Ukraine continues, and the U.S. warns Russian troops are being assisted by Iranian soldiers. This as the country braces for a potential attack on a major dam. At its big game Friday night, the Priceville Bulldogs face off against the Randolph Radel Raiders in tonight's Game of the Week. Only Way 31 has the most powerful and precise storm tracking network ever built. Faster, clearer, more accurate. Only Way 31 has it. See why Way 31 is weather coverage you can count on. 
The Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network is brought to you by Conchin, Cole, Jordan, and Sherrod, Attorneys at Law. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is now warning a major dam could be Russia's next target. Zelensky says Vladimir Putin has plans to blow the dam up and blame Ukraine. He says Russian troops have already planted mines near the hydroelectric plant. An attack could flood 80 towns and the city of Kherson. The warning comes as Ukrainian troops continue to take back land in the south. Until a few weeks ago, this entire area was occupied by Russia. Today, the Ukrainian forces are pushing them ever closer back to their own border. Meanwhile, the Biden administration says Iranian troops are in Crimea training Russian troops. Those troops are being trained in using kamikaze drones. Russia's used them to attack major infrastructure and residential areas. Weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Olga Breeze and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. It has been a great Friday, not just because we made it to the end of the work week, the school week, but we have a lot of sunshine today and temperatures responded. Winds shifted yesterday from the south and the southeast were benefiting with temperatures today making it solidly into the middle 70s. And right now we're sliding back into some of those lower 70s in a few locations. Gunnersville at 70, Decatur at 73. In Huntsville, from the tower cam review, you can see the sun beginning to sink on the horizon. And within an hour, we will be in the darkness as the sun begins to set, but right now we're looking pretty good at 74 degrees with a gentle wind out of the southwest. Heat all around. That southerly wind flow has really been helping us out in the middle section of the nation and also off toward the east, even the south. Uh, checking out our temperatures for today, we're pretty comfortable. Also Starting to see a few 60s pop in, 67 now for Fort Payne. We're at the 70 degree mark in a lot of locations. But if you have plans to go out this evening, it will be very chilly once that sun is gone. 75 was our high today, right around average, although we started off very chilly in the 30s. Tomorrow's more low temperatures should be much closer to the mark near that 50 degree mark. We still need a little bit more rain uh, on the board here. No rain in the forecast for today and we're not look looking at any rain as we move on in toward the weekend. By the time we get to eight o'clock, if maybe you're going out to a game or out on the town, 59 degrees, so it will be chilly and then Tomorrow morning, we're starting off in the upper 40s. Won't be as cold as what we've seen the last few days, but it will still be chilly. It is a great night, however, for those Friday night football games. We're going to see temperatures hanging out in the 60s for much of the game. By the time we get to halftime, we're sliding into the upper 50s. But when the games close out, those temperatures will be chilly in the 50s. You might want to have that sweatshirt with you. Our rain chances are going up as well. When we get into Tuesday, the next front is close enough to kick up some shower chances. I think Tuesday's rain will hold off till very w late in the evening and overnight and then our big rain chances come on Wednesday with overcast skies. For tomorrow though, it is looking good. A lot of sunshine. We'll mix in some cloud cover from time to time, but we'll still be feeling good. The forecast stays warm. Not only Sunday, but Monday we could see 80 degrees uh, downtown and then behind the front temperatures settle in the lower 70s. Well, the Huntsville Havoc are back on the road looking for a second win after winning against the Pensacola. Get a first pick of seats when they become available. And with it being Friday night, that means another week of high school football is on tap. To preview all of this week's slate of games, we bring in sports director Nolan Knight. Nolan, what can we expect to see on the field? Now yeah, we can expect some awesome games this week with the week nine of the regular season here. It means that region titles will be decided across the state, and that's what's on the line tonight in our big game Friday night game of the week where the undefeated Priceville Bulldogs hit the road to take on a one-loss Randolph team. And for more on this game, we'll head out to Randolph where Xavier Wary is standing by. Xavier. Hey, Nolan, I'm with Randolph's head man, David Lloyd. Coach, this is a pretty big game tonight, to say the least. A region championship is up for grabs for the first time in school history. Talk to me about what the message has been like for your guys all week. Well, you know, we set a lot of goals back in the summer, about the end of last year. And football coach, right now we are live in Randolph, Xavier Wary, with 31 Sports. All right, thanks, Xavier. We'll talk later tonight during that 6 o'clock show. And, of course, later on tonight, we'll bring you the highlights and scores from the biggest games at 10 o'clock here on Way 31 and then share more scores and highlights from around North Alabama for our full big game Friday night on Way 31.6. This TV should be loads of fun. You will not want to miss it.
All right, let's take another look at the traffic map right now. This is a look. We've been following this for the last hour or so after Huntsville re Police reported closing 565 eastbound near mile marker 22 due to a crash in the area. There was a lot of red on the map just a short time ago. That has since changed to green and orange, which is a good sign for drivers. However, we have still not been notified if that portion of 565 is still closed or not. We're waiting for an update from Huntsville Police. We do know one person was taken to the hospital as a result of that crash. Of course, we will continue to monitor this situation and pass along any new updates for you as soon as they become available. Still ahead, are you trying to save for retirement? You may be able to start putting back more money soon. Live on the scene, breaking news coverage, Wave 31 News. Starting tonight, you can watch ballet here in Huntsville. The Huntsville Ballet Company begins their season at 7 p.m. with a world premiere of the Tumbleweed Suite. It'll be their first full season since 2019. If you're interested, you can head out to Rock Family Worship Center's Dream Theater. Tickets start at $35, and there will be performances Saturday and Sunday. You'll soon be able to save more for your retirement. The IRS is increasing the amount you can invest next year. You'll be able to save 10% more, which adds to more than $22,000. The change is happening due to inflation. Chilly night tonight as temperatures drop down into the upper 40s. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds on Saturday, but check out those temperatures for the weekend, upper 70s. We will hit 80 degrees on Monday, but then that front brings us some rain chances Tuesday into Wednesday. We will settle into some cooler weather behind the front, temperatures in the lower 70s, but the improvement will be in those overnight lows, closer to our average of 50 degrees. For 24-7 coverage, you can count on local news, breaking news, and severe weather. Go to WayTV.com. World News Tonight with David Muir starts in just a few minutes right here on Way 31. And then we are back for more coverage you can count on with Way 31 News at 6.